Hi, I am Mrs. Bernstein, your Art 3 teacher. I want to welcome you to the new school year and take you through a little bit of information about this class. All right, so welcome to Art 3 Drawing 2 and Art 3 Painting 2. This class is designed to build upon the knowledge you should have received in Art 1 and Art 2. So you may begin finding your own artist voice. Your artist voice is taking a prompt given by the teacher and then fully exploring that idea, being as creative and risk-taking as possible. Sometimes we fail from the, these risks and learn how not to do something. And sometimes we grow and learn something valuable. No matter the outcome of your project, Art3 will help you to become a better artist, teach you to think for yourself, and assist you with collaborating with others to generate ideas. The in-person class and the online class will be exactly the same. This year will be quite different from a normal year of Art3. Some of you will choose to take this class in person, and some of you will choose to take this class online. Regardless of how you engage with this class, I want to assure you that the lessons, materials, expectations, and deadlines will be the exact same. The course is built with an online learner in mind to provide the best experience that we can. I want to go through and show you a few examples from students who have taken this course in the past and show you what they have done. So this was a assignment that I called uh, Painterly Fruit, where you use broken color, kind of like Impressionism, to create a still life. This is a hand, uh, hand feet slash skin assignment, where you use the material of your choice to come up uh, with a drawing or painting that incorporates a hand or foot and realistic skin colors. This is a contour assignment in which you are recreating hair, the contours of hair. Um, and some students chose to incorporate watercolor and ink. This is an assignment I call red emphasis. And you choose an object in your picture to make it a color of red or a really bright color. And then the rest of the entire picture is black and white, giving emphasis to that one, uh, that focal point. Here's another example of the broken fruit, the painterly fruit, broken color. This is one of the first assignments we're going to do. This is the illuminated letter. You're going to take an important letter from your name and you're going to fill it with images uh, regarding your past, your present, and your future. This is one of my favorite assignments that we do. Um, I call it column A, column B, because you're going to choose a word from column A, and you're going to choose a word from column B, and combine them together to come up with this mixed media artwork that uses a stamp in the background. It uses magazine collage, and then it also incorporates soft pastel. And this one, the column A word was exquisite, and column B word was bird. And so when you combine that together, you get exquisite bird. And this was this, this student's interpretation of an exquisite bird. Here's a little bit of information about me in case if you have never met me or if you're not familiar with heights or you didn't go here before. I've been teaching art for 13 years. I've only ever taught art. I did do three years at Robinson Junior High. And I've been at Harker Heights High School for the last 10 years. So this is my 11th year here. I teach Art 1, Art 3, Art 4, and AP Drawing. I attended the University of North Texas in Denton. I have a Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Photography with a minor in English Literature. I also attended Sol Ross State University where I did some undergraduate work in Animal Science and Art. I was also a member of the women's tennis team for two years. My interests and hobbies include photography, painting, sewing, working outside in the yard, traveling, and reading. 
My family, I have been married for 15 years in September to my college sweetheart. We have two children, Chloe, who's 10, and Nathan, who is six. And an interesting fact about my family is that I am the only person in my family not adopted. My husband is also adopted in both of our children. Here's a few pictures of, here's a painting that I've been working on for the last seven years that I still haven't finished, but I did get to make a little bit of progress on it during the quarantine. This is me in first grade right there with that awesome hair and awesome rainbow outfit. This, these are my kids, Chloe and Nathan, and they just started taking Taekwondo and they really love it. Here was me at the first day of in-service, trying to fix my hair and get my mascara on and this mask um, I made. Here's a little bit about me. Um, here's another, there's an old picture of my family, one of my favorite pictures. I love sushi, I love painting, I love to sew, I love flamingos, and I love taking photographs of sunsets and my degrees in photography. All right, some materials. The district is working on getting you materials and right now, really all you're gonna need and all that I'm asking for you to have is a camera to upload your work, pencils, erasers, and paper, any kind of paper, whatever you have. Okay, if you're gonna get an eraser, make sure you get the white vinyl erasers, not the pink ones. All right, and now I wanted to know a little bit about you. So if you will go back to the page that you came from in Schoology, you will see um, step number two is to complete this form. So you can go back through the pictures, look through everything again, and then if you will submit this form, this will be your first assignment. And then I have one more assignment for you after that, and that is to do a diagnostic boot drawing. So you'll need to go back to Schoology under day one and look for this diagnostic boot drawing after you're done with this form, please. Thank you.